Hi everybody, this is Bill from TurboDial. I wanted to do a quick demonstration of hot lead alerts and SMS text message alerts in TurboDial. So I'm going to start with a test Infusionsoft account with a contact listing displayed and I'll just launch TurboDial by clicking the TurboDial button. And I'm going to uh, make this smaller so that uh, we can see both screens easily. Now, the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is let's do an SMS. This is currently set on the first contact that I launched on, Alal Brock. I'm going to do a, click the SMS button, say, hey, Alal, how you doing? I'll send that. Now that should come in pretty quickly to a phone I have right here. And then there you heard it just come in. And I'm going to send a reply back. Just say OK. And send it. And that's going to come back in here as an alert right back into my turbo dial. And there it is. And there, you didn't hear the uh, chime associated with it because of the arrangement of my microphone. But I also got a chime indicating that this SMS arrived. Now, what can I do with that? If I just click the alert, it goes from yellow to white, indicating I've viewed it. So that means I can quickly glance at my turbo dial panel and see if I've got alerts that I haven't seen yet. Now that I've seen it, it's white. Uh, this is already focused on Allah Brock, but if I had if I had someone else here, let's say I'll go switch over to Alan. So now TurboDial is focused on Alan Bradford. If I click the blue triangle in this alert, it switches back to the person who's the subject of the alert. And the last, <laughs> that's a different, that's a different alert that came in for another reason that uh, I'll come back to in a minute. And I, this was not part of my demonstration, so let's just ignore that. Let's come back to the SMS though, and. The other thing I can do with an SMS alert is I can click on the SMS button and it actually will launch the SMS send and view screen where I can send another reply right back to allow. Okay, good to hear it. So as you can see, it's really easy to have a conversation. I can even be on a phone call. Let's say I'm on a call with Alan. I call Alan. I can even be having a text message conversation with Alal. I use that SMS button while I'm still on a call with Alan. So these alerts are asynchronous from the calls that I might have going on in TurboDial, and they do not cause TurboDial to refocus onto the person who is the subject of the alert until I press the, the blue triangle, and then it will. Now, the second thing is hot lead alert, which you happen to see one which was uh, triggered by some other thing. But let's go, uh, let's take a look here. I have a, I have a campaign, and it, this is set up as a web form that's going to trigger a sequence that sends a hot lead alert. Now, there's other videos and instructions that show you how to set those up. But here's the actual web form right here. And let's pick a contact, well, let's say Alice. And here's her email address. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. I'm going to go up here to Alice and fill in her information and submit that. Now the idea is I'm going to get an alert here for Alice indicating, I'm going to click this one to yell to white so I'd say I've seen it. Because Alice just filled out a web form, I want to be notified about that as soon as possible. So now we're waiting for the alert to come in, so I'm, so I'm watching both ends of the process here. And there it is. There's the alert from Alice. So you can see the turbo dial, you can now receive your SMS alerts right inside of the turbo dial window. And you can also trigger hot lead alerts, which will notify your users of actions that they want to follow up on quickly. That's a real quick demonstration of hot lead alerts. Thanks everybody.